Well, after a gently contested race and the most difficult transition, Joe Biden has been sworn in as the fourth of 46th American president. Uh, due to a less agreeable predecessor, the COVID-19 pandemic and rumbles of a civil unrest, this inauguration was very different. Vivian Oguche has more in this report. With the highest voter turnout in more than a century and in the middle of a pandemic, the presidential race in the U.S. ended with a victory for Joe Biden. Notably, his path to victory was by building the blue wall again, flipping red states and practically swinging most battleground states. For the 81 million 284,000 Americans who voted for Biden, the 20th of January brings to an end a roller coaster ride. Following a promise to heal a fractured nation, President Biden begins the work of uniting the country after being sworn in as the 46th President of the United States on the West Front of the Capitol just two weeks after a mob incited by former President Donald Trump stormed the building and tried to overturn the election results based on lies. But this year's inauguration is unlike any other for various reasons. For starters, ousted President Trump is refusing to attend his successor's inauguration making him the first outgoing president in 152 years to skip the swearing-in ceremony. Instead, the former president and his wife flew to Florida before President Biden took his oath of office, dispensing with the tradition of greeting the incoming president and first lady at the White House and riding with them to the Capitol. But President Biden says he welcomes his predecessor's decision. And perhaps the most startling exception is that more than 25,000 National Guard troops were in place to ensure that the nation's transfer of power can take place peacefully. Equally important for the first time, a black woman of South Asian descent is sworn in as the vice president. I will well and faithfully discharge the duties of the office on which I am about to enter. The duties of the office upon which I am about to enter. After decades in politics and two previous unsuccessful attempts at the presidency, President Biden, who happens to be only the second Catholic to take office in America, delivers the most important speech of his life. This is Democracy's Day. A day of history and hope, of renewal and resolve. Through a crucible for the ages, America has been tested anew, and America has risen to the challenge. Today, we celebrate the triumph not of a candidate, but of a cause, the cause of democracy. The die is cast. Americans, at least those who voted for President Biden, and the world at large wait with bated breath to see if America becomes truly great again. Viviana Guche for Plus TV, Africa. We are now joined by former Director General of Nigerian Institute of International Affairs, Professor Abola Akinterewa. Yes, Good evening West to you, Professor Akinterewa. Many thanks for joining us on the news on Plus TV, Africa. Thank you for having me. All right, uh, Professor, let's talk uh, more about uh, Joe Biden's inauguration. Uh, a lot of uh, people, including Nigerians, are uh, seeing this inauguration as a welcome development. Do you see policies uh, in the meantime being changed to favor Africans and indeed Nigerians? Well, Most I think that um, the inauguration in itself is important at different levels. And for us here in Africa and in Nigeria, uh, I can you see that right hand, it can be quite can positive for three, uh, four main reasons. First of all, if as a Nigerian people, as a Nigerian government, 
if we involve the capacity, you know, if we do have the capability to bargain with the uh, Joe Biden administration, that can pay off. But to expect that we can gain anything without having a strategic uh, bargaining um, uh, power, it is not likely. Secondly, you know, if we need anything from any government, the attitude of um, Joe Biden, we can take advantage of that, being a Democrat. Democrats are more, you know, sympathetic to African cause than any Republican candidate. Yeah. So this again uh, means that our bargaining capacity must be strengthened. There is a third factor, the, the environmental conditioning, both in uh, America and also in Nigeria, will go a long way in determining whether Joe Biden's um, uh, administration will be favorable to us. For instance, uh, Joe Biden has given us a pointer. The mere fact that he has um, three Americans um, of Nigerian um, origin clearly shows that his doors will not be um, closed to Nigeria. That means that at least it's a pointer to his readiness to want to relate with us very well. And more importantly, you know, I've always drawn attention to the relationship between Nigeria and um, the United States on the one hand, and relationship between the United States and the Chinese on the other. All right, hang on, Professor. So if, we'll come back to you in a bit. We also have um, joining us um, an international affairs um, analyst, uh, Paul Ejime. Many thanks for joining us on Plus TV African News. Now, Professor Kintenwa is of the opinion that uh, Africans and in, indeed Nigerians could uh, be favored favorably uh, with this new inauguration of uh, President Joe Biden. What are your thoughts exactly? Well, uh, thank you, Justin. And Prof, um, uh, good evening. I think he, he, he um, is right that um, what uh, Nigeria can gain will depend on um, how uh, focused and how um, strategic Nigeria will be in, um, in its uh, own bargaining um, uh, uh, power. But at the same time, we look at the background to this election. It, it is, um, look at the, you, you know, the, the speeches by, by the two um, characters, which, um, you know, two extremes, you know, one was presidential, the one coming in, and the one that outgoing uh, Trump, he has uh, looked uh, very vengeful, isolated, and, um, uh, you know, uh, uh, disconsolate. I mean, these are the issues. He left um, a legacy that uh, no, even Americans are not ready to be proud of. And the whole world, we are watching. Look at on the uh, two weeks ago, on the, on the uh, uh, 6th of uh, January, what happened has uh, diminished, has devalued uh, America's uh, democracy. Uh, but um, uh, Biden is talking about uh, healing. He's talking about uh, hope. He's talking about um, telling the whole world that uh, he is ready he, to build the, uh, uh, the bridge mm -hmm. um, and bring cooperation and collaboration in the world. As for Africa, I think we shouldn't expect too much. If uh, uh, we had um, a, a, a black American, um, uh, Obama, I don't know what he got. Um, he didn't get much for Africa. And so Africans, um, I mean, the more we tamper our expectation, the better. Uh, because um, we, you are likely going to see a continuation of uh, the Obama policy. All right. That is what, what one can say. So um, a lot will depend on um, how ready you are, how willing or how the, uh, determined okay. you are ready, Africans can go in getting whatever they can. All right, but let us bring Biden in Professor is an American Akintenua president. He's not an again. African president. All right, thank you. Thank you so much, uh, Paul um, Ejime. Let's try and bring in uh, Professor Akintenua yet again to this conversation. Let's look about the relationship uh, of uh, the United States of America and, of course, that of the Arab world, specifically with the sanctions uh, imposed on Iran. Do you see a new uh, override 
uh, if you like, of um, policies and now that Joe Biden is now the one at the helms of affairs. All right, let, let, let's take the same question now to Paul A.J. May. I just asked that Professor if there will be a bit of a, a policy override now that Joe Biden is now at the helms of affairs. Yes, we will expect some. For instance, in immigration, you, you know, you've seen what has happened. Um, uh, uh, Trump was very hard on immigration. I think there will be a tampering. Look at um, uh, the, you know, the more than how many, 500 children who were separated from, um, uh, from, from their parents. I think that, uh, and the wall that um, America uh, is building under, under uh, uh, Trump, I think there has to be, uh, what you can have is um, border management rather than erecting a wall, because what walls can really not stop people from, from moving. And then you, um, uh, uh, you know, climate change. Biden has said that um, Obama had signed, signed um, took uh, America there, but uh, Trump brought America out of it. He's, we can see that um, uh, Biden will go back there. And then WHO, um, um, uh, WTO. These are some of the places where you, and then remember, he, um, uh, uh, Trump also banned um, uh, Muslims and some countries that, um, from entering um, America. I think uh, by uh, Biden will um, Biden administration will overrule that. So there are a number of things that, uh, and then in the Middle East, that should also be expected. Um, uh, Israel and um, America, they have always had, um, you know, a cozy relationship. But it was cozier when um, um, uh, by, uh, Trump was there. I don't think um, uh, it's going to be that uh, that easy. Uh, so that is Iran, Iraq, and all over the place. So. There, there, there might be some tweaking, you know, in terms of, uh, because this is a Biden that has, as vice president, he has related with a number of these, of former heads of these heads of state. So he knows the politics. Uh, Trump was um, a, is a businessman, a showman, and he promised um, certain things that he couldn't deliver, but was very brutal in his approach. That is not how to play international politics. It is about give and take. No matter how powerful you are, you cannot uh, take any country for granted. So I see a much more malleable, cooperative, okay. and um, Biden working with the rest of the world and not losing partnership. Uh, EU, they are not happy with um, uh, uh, the Trump presidency. So oh, okay. uh, you uh, know, it's a difficult um, uh, uh, journey for, for, for Biden. But I think he can cope because okay, he has shown himself to, to be um, here, a, now, a, a bridge builder. Yeah, let's sort of um, set a bit of an agenda now for the new uh, administration in the United States of America. Uh, what do you really think the president that Joe Biden should be looking at in the first 100 days? He has a lot on his plate. One is the fact that uh, the economy, I mean, there are millions of Americans that are out of job. Uh, so you heard about the stimulus, um, you know, uh, initiative. He has uh, talked about um, 1.9 um, uh, 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 trillion that they are now going to. Uh, initially, Americans were, the jobless were to get um, 400 or this 600, but he has now um, uh, topped that. He said, every, uh, you know, they will get um, 2,000. So he has added, uh, he's added uh, with the, what he has signed, they will get um, 1,400 to make it 2,000. And then there is the uh, uh, COVID-19 that is devastating. Um, America has the, the, the highest, um, uh, uh, you know, uh, fatality per capita. More than 400,000 people have died. More than tw 24 million Americans' uh, their cases have been reported. That is, you know, the highest in, uh, in the world. It, the Trump administration did not, it was, it was actually in denial, in spite of the fact that uh, he even got the, 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 the virus. But you see how, it, you know, he dismissed the issue of uh, wearing masks and all that. So I think I, I, one will see a Biden administration that will take science seriously and be able to tackle um, uh, uh, the, 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 the virus. And then look at the way to, to reshape. Uh, by the way, the stock market keeps uh, going up, but that is not the issue. It is what all right, thank you, you so much. food on the table. Oh, thank you American. so much, uh, Paul. So I think if Biden will have to work uh, hard on all that and heal the nation, 
uh, racial discrimination, all police right, thank brutality, you. We appreciate your and thoughts. all that. He yes. has uh, his plate uh, full. All right, let us bring in the Professor uh, Akinteri uh, yet again, just before we wrap up this particular session. Uh, we just asked uh, Paul Ejime there to set an agenda for the Joe Biden administration in the first 100 uh, days. What should he be looking at? If I should uh, throw the same question uh, back to you. Well, I share um, the viewpoint of uh, Paul um, Ejime because uh, Joe Biden does not have any alternative than to change the policy of uh, making America again. Respected again will require looking at the misunderstanding uh, with uh, North Korea on nuclear issue, and particularly the relationship between North Korea and South Korea. Looking at WTO, WHO, all these agreements, withdraw of membership. All these are critical issues. But in terms of specific agenda, based on what uh, Joe Biden himself had told the world, he looked at the issue of um, COVID-19 as a priority. He also looked at the issue of um, economic um, revamping and particularly the trade misunderstanding with China. More importantly, um, in terms of relationship with Africa, security is um, of priority. The issue of um, Al-Qaeda, the Boko Haramism in Nigeria will remain a critical issue, especially that the Tucano um, um, plane fighters we place for, which are supposed to be delivered in 2023, 2024. Mm. These are required to help Nigeria fight Boko Haram insurgency. So um, is the issue of uh, insecurity is a factor of uh, rapprochement between Nigeria and the US. And it is in the interest of um, the US to have a strength in Nigeria capable of fighting that. Oh, and wow. more significantly, mm. I was trying to draw attention to the issue of uh, Africa Command, which is currently headquartered in um, Stuttgart, uh, Germany. It is very possible that uh, Joe Biden will now want to raise this issue with the All government right, of Professor Nigeria. Kintan, right, so that's that as much Nigeria as we have time host. for the session. Uh, we will most say a very big thank you to the former DG of the Nigeria Institute of International Affairs, Professor Bola Kintenwe, and of course, International Affairs Analyst uh, Paul Ejime, who both joined us to look at uh, the Joe Biden's inauguration and what it portends for Africa and indeed the world. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.